Good evening, everybody. Let's start with high school football. The numbers and enthusiasm are up over at Schuyler County High School. The Rams have a lot to be excited about. They are joining a new conference. They are getting a new football field, and they return a lot of experience at running back and on the offensive line. We're going to have a pretty good running game again this year. You know, we got a lot of linemen back. We did lose a very good running back from last year in Sebastian Grant. But, you know, we got a, we got a couple kids that will definitely step up for us. Our offensive line, again, is, is back and healthy. We had a couple kids hurt last year. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to try to pound the football and, and, you know, play some good defense and win some games. The new field at Schuyler County is looking good. The project is a little beyond schedule because of the rain. But if Mother Nature cooperates, they should get a lot done this week. Try to get uh, dry enough weather that the track dries out enough so we can lay some asphalt around uh, there. And uh, once they get the asphalt down, that has to cure for 30 days before they can put the other track material on. And uh, they're also working on the concrete for the bleachers so those can go in. In high school softball, Albia Sigourney and EBF are all one win away from going to state. EBF will face Van Meter, even though the teams did not play each other. They have seen each other play, so there should be no surprises. Well, they've seen us play if it's Van Meter, and, you know, we've seen them play. It's just one of those deals. You still got to go play your game, and, uh, you know, we're going to be aggressive on the bases, and, and hopefully our bats are stay active and make, make plays on defense. In other games tonight, Sigourney and Albia also have a chance to punch their tickets to St. Sigourney will take on New London, while Albia will face Davenport Assumption Baseball. A tumble will be home to face East. Here's the latest on the middle school basketball camp at Macon High School. Coach Smith and his staff put the players through their paces today, working on various fundamentals, ball handling, dribbling, and more. A lot of these youngsters participated in the camp in June, and they are building on what they learned a couple of weeks ago. Well, a lot of these kids know each other, and they're pretty competitive already. So they, a lot of times, they go against each other or their brothers, and uh, so I, it, as coaches, we get a kick out of just watching them usually because they're so competitive. And uh, uh, as a coach, I like seeing that. The Kirksville Park and Rec Summer Tennis Program continues to thrive and prosper. Today, the intermediates took the court. I like how we play a bunch of games in between learning stuff. Today we just learned volleys and forehands and we're learning backhands and all sorts of cool stuff. Tim Duncan announced his retirement today. Number 21 has never missed the playoffs in college or in the NBA. By the way, Teresa has never missed final weather in her career at KTVO. 